Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. So, I'm going to show you how to use thermal protective aids properly. First, take the bag out of its plastic envelope and unfold. Oh, so I'm going to the bridge to meet the captain, and then I'm going to the lecture room to see the electrician. Uh, he's repairing the air conditioner. By the way, what's happening on the poop deck? Oh, the ratings are scrubbing the deck, sir. After that, in about two hours' time, they're scheduled to paint the bulkheads. Very good. I'll see them there after I've finished with the electrician. OK, sir. Good morning. You're through to Marlins. How can I help you? Uh, hello. I'd uh, like to speak to Andy, please. Sitting at the moment. Can I pick you through to Chris instead? Or would you like to leave a message? Uh, no. It's, it's okay, thanks. I'll call back later. What would you like for lunch? Are you ready to order now, sir? Why, yes. I'll have some salad, roast beef and mashed potatoes. How do you want the beef? Rare, medium, or well done? Well done, please. And could you make sure it's grilled rather than fried, as I can hardly do up these buttons. I need to lose some weight. Sure. Anything to drink? I'll have a coffee, please. Medium or large? Better make it a medium or I won't get any sleep tonight. So, made any plans for your next home to leave yet? Well, not really. You know how it is. After a long spell away, all you want to do is put your feet up in your own house for a bit. Oh, yes. But my wife always finds stuff for me to do while I'm at home. I don't get much peace. Yeah, mine's the same. But I help with the family business too. I like it. It's as if I'm working and thinking for myself and not just obeying orders. Yes, I know what you mean. It's good to make your own decisions, isn't it? Did you hear what happened to that vessel last week? The one with the false documentation? Yes. I can't believe the master did that. He's certainly paying for it now. Yeah, they're pretty strict here. I reckon he'll be fined thousands of dollars and probably in prison for several years. What's the maximum punishment here again? It's ten thousand dollars per violation and six months in prison. I actually worked with him about ten years ago when I was a third officer. Even at that time he had a grounding that resulted in an oil spill. He's trouble. Yes, well, he won't be getting into any more trouble for a long time. Did you hear about the cook that was killed last week on the cargo vessel during mooring operations? Why was he doing that? Was it a one-off or an emergency or something? No, he was told that he had to help. Some companies expect that, though it's not officially contained in the management system and shouldn't really be part of a cook's job. But a cook isn't always going to argue with the master, is he? Well, if they expect cooks to help in the mooring operations, they need to be trained properly. Yes, that was the problem. He hadn't been given any proper instruction. Are those bottles you have in your bag? Uh, yes. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, don't... You know the rules about bringing alcohol on board? You really should know better. I, I'm sorry, but I have a friend who lives here, and it was his birthday, so we had a few glasses of vodka, and then he asked me to take these bottles of, of whiskey to his brother back home. 
Well, quite honestly, I don't care if it's vintage champagne for the queen. Please get rid of it. There's no alcohol coming on board my vessel. Oh no, where's my passport? You had it just now at immigration. Oh, it's okay. It's in my money belt. But where's my money? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, it's okay. It's in my back pocket. Well, I wouldn't leave it there if I was you. Have you got the hotel booking? No, you've got it. No, I haven't. Is it in your bag? I don't think so. It's... Ah, it's here in my jacket pocket. You know, yesterday I was sitting at the corner of the table and one of the ratings told me to move as in his culture it means a woman will never get married. Some interesting superstitions, aren't there? The fifth engineer was quiet a few weeks ago as he said he could hear bells ringing, which apparently means someone will die. So I told him that's just because he spent too many years working in the engine room and he's got hearing problems. Someone told me it's bad luck if you see sharks following the vessel. It is if you fall overboard. And some believe killing a seagull will bring bad luck. That one certainly has. It's had a shit on my arm. <laughs> well, some cultures believe that will bring you good luck. That airport is a complete nightmare. It's impossible to spot the agent if there are hundreds of them holding signs all in a huge crowd together. Is it the same one who met me last time? Bald and dangerous looking. And glasses. Oh. Most of the agents seem to have beards and mustaches than now. So are you growing a mustache or a beard? No, but my hair is quite long now. I can wear it in a ponytail. So, I've been having a chat with that new cadet. How do you think he's getting on? You tell me. I asked him what he thought I did in my job, and do you know what he said? What? He said, you change light bulbs and things. So I said, okay, if I change light bulbs, then what does the electrician do? What did he say? He said, doesn't he deal with sewage and unblocked toilets and stuff? So then I said, what do you think the chief engineer does? And he said, reads emails all day. Well, he's not wrong there, is he? So then I said, what sort of jobs do you think you'll be doing on board? Go on. He said, I'll be repairing equipment like the generator and main engine. I wouldn't let him repair my hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Managed to find any stowaways. Have they managed to find any stowaways? Why doesn't he tell us if there's a problem? Stop 
How often do you check the fire doors? Has anyone ever fallen off the pilot ladder? Has anyone ever fallen off the pilot ladder? My date of birth is 5th of November, 1974. My date of birth is 5th of November, 1974. The temperature in this engine room is 39.9 degrees centigrade. The temperature in this engine room is 39.9 degrees centigrade. The shipping company head office is located at 953 Ocean View Road. The shipping company head office is located at 953 Ocean View Road. Motor Tanker Odyssey, this is Bermuda Coast Guard. Advice, please change to VHF Channel 15. Over. We will reduce speed 1.2 miles.
Hi guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully you will pass the Marlins test with good score. See you on the next video.